In today's movie review, I'm looking at the unlikely pilgrimage of Harold Fry. It's a screenplay, screenplay by Rachel Choice from the book of the same name that she also wrote. Um, <coughs> Harold Fry, <coughs> excuse me. Harold Fry is a pensioner, locked in a loveless marriage with his wife Maureen Fry. The reason that their marriage is rocky is due to events surrounding their son um, from years previously, 20 years previously, and neither of them have dealt with this situation. One day after cutting the lawn and beginning another day of the same routine, living at home, very little happening, Harold receives a letter from a colleague called Queenie Henderson. Now, Queenie was a colleague of Harold's who, 20 years previously, around those particular circumstances, basically saved Harold's life. Um, and the reason for that is they, uh, both Harold and Maureen had to go through the experience of losing their son you learn more about Lou's, um about their son and what happened to him through the film, through flashbacks. And Maureen blames Harold for what happened and Harold can't handle the situation. And he attempts to take his life. And that's when um, Queenie Henderson um, intervenes as a young woman and saves Harold's life. Harold's life so fast forward 20 years and on that morning where Harold's cutting the lawn he receives a letter um, concerning Queenie saying that she is in a hospice in Bury St Tweed 450 miles away and that she's receiving palliative end of life care um, she's suffering with cancer. Now, rather than writing a letter to Queenie, Harold decides without a moment's thought for himself, his wife or his own well-being, that he's going to walk the entire journey, 450 miles, with the belief that the further he walks, the longer Queenie will live. During the journey, he sends Queenie Queenie uh, postcards periodically advising her of his journey and of his progress and basically encouraging her the whole time to fight, keep fighting and keep living and at the start of the journey he instigates a mantra you will not die, you will not die as he takes every step given his age and he's not used to walking very far at all. Um, not even as far as any further than the post box. His feet and his general well-being is obviously at risk. He tells his wife before he starts the journey that he's going to just post a letter to Queenie. But then just carries on walking. After a couple of days... His wife obviously raises the alarm and um, speaks to a neighbour about the whole situation. And Harold eventually phones her and tells her of his intention and what the letter said about Queenie. You can imagine she takes this news very, very hard. And for most of the film... You see his wife Maureen grow in isolation in her own thoughts and her own lonely circumstances. It's only later in the film that that changes. The majority of the film is around Harold's journey and while he uh, goes on his walk, he comes across many people including a nurse who bandages his feet takes care of him, gives him food, rest, a backpack and some other basic communities. 
someone else he meets on the journey then gets in touch with the media after talking to Harold and his whole expedition then becomes public. Many, many people offer to help him on this journey and it really becomes a film of the human spirit of having a burning desire to help others without consideration for your own well-being or your own circumstances. And to me, that's the essence of it, of the human spirit, of human nature, and the willingness to achieve, regardless of what it means to yourself. Many people join Harold on his journey, and they call themselves pilgrims, and they form a traveller's group, start camping out, and after a time, um, Harold befriends a young teenage boy, very similar to his own son, and they travel together for a while with his other followers, and he very much reminds Harold of his own son, and they bond. Then one night, the young lad, for whatever reason, disappears. That affects Harold greatly, and he then realises that his journey, the essence of it, is not about having all these people around him. It's not about having the media around him. It's about that very simple goal of keeping on walking, making a difference, and saving someone's life. Meantime... Maureen back home after basically having an emotional breakdown um, she then confides in her neighbour who drives her up to near to where um, Harold's end of journey is 18 miles short and they have a conversation and she realises that his selfless act shown her more about Harold's character than anything else could have done. Despite his despair and his tiredness and his age, she persuades him to carry on journey. For the latter part of his journey, he travels alone for a short time with a stray dog. And he lives in barns, he lives in the outdoors, and almost develops a feral existence. He eventually arrives and sees Queenie, who is unable to talk. But she does recognise him. He presents her with a gift. That gift, after he leaves, brings her much pleasure. The gift is a crystal a mere ordinary crystal jewel that he hangs from the window. This is another selfless act, and for me, again, it reinforces the milk of human kindness, and it's another reason why um, this film is one of those unforgettable um, experiences, and it's an example of kindness and compromise kindness between people that we don't see anywhere near enough these days. Now, I realise that I've given quite a lot of major story points here, but when you go to see this film, because of the way the story is told, everyone has their own impression of how the story is told. There will be twists and turns in it that will take your breath, that will make you laugh and cry and also make you feel quite distraught. The main leads are played fantastically. Harold is played by Jim Broadbent and his wife Maureen is played by Penelope Wilton. Both well-respected actors and actresses. I would definitely definitely see this film again and there is a chance that we could soon witness 
once again in movie form, the continued journey of all these characters. Because Rachel has written another two books um, concerning these characters. The second book is from Queenie Henderson's point of view. And the third book, yet to be published, is around Maureen. Her own journey of self-discovery. Um, ten years on from Harold's epic pilgrimage. And how... She finds her own journey very different from his. That book hasn't been released yet. I do hope that eventually those other books are also made into films. I heartily recommend The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry. It's another example of one of those films that will not only stay with you, but will make you think about our own purposes and goals in life and how we could do with perhaps being a little bit kinder to ourselves and others.